think one of the misconceptions about natural family planning is that it doesn't work. Okay, unfortunately a lot of people think it's the rhythm method or uh, the calendar method. Unfortunately a lot of physicians think it is. It's not taught in medical schools, most medical schools. I think one important thing when you're talking about um, non-hormonal methods is to let people know, you know, efficacy rates and give them some support. My biggest fear is to have somebody out there sort of floating around saying, oh, you're taking a chance, you know, you hear all the jokes that people have. That's not my goal. I mean, I, I want people to feel like they're using a method and they have support. They have a scientific background behind it. They know what's going on with their bodies. And they can say with confidence, you know what, we're avoiding a pregnancy at this time because we've thought about it. We, we know what's going on and we're going to we use this day for intercourse because we know that right now these are our, our intentions and they don't have to be afraid that say say they're strapped for money and they don't have to be afraid that right now you know they're they're going to have a child and they're they're not quite ready another misconception would be that if if a woman doesn't have regular monthly cycles that it's not going to be effective and um, in fact it helps in helping a woman medically if she doesn't have regular monthly cycles because it gives me a map that I can use to help her find out why she's not having regular cycles and uh, but in the meantime it still will tell her when she's fertile even if she's not having regular cycles it will identify the days of fertility we have three kids now we planned each one of them you know um, Roslyn is two and a half years after Carmela and Enrique is two years after Roslyn and I mean we had them you know pretty much to the month that we wanted to, to have them. So the big question is whether or not natural family planning works. And yes, it's 99% effective. Um, and we've seen that in our own marriage.